Hello again. Or if you're new, welcome. Time to get excited, everyone. We finally got an official announcement that Koji Mura's Blue Box is getting a well-deserved anime adaptation. Not only that, but the news came with a gorgeous promo image, character designs for the two leads, and even confirmed the voice actors for both characters. Class is in session, but before we get too deep into the announcement, allow me to give you a brief overview of what Blue Box has to offer. Enter Taiki Inomata, a boy with a determination and drive to elevate his badminton performance as he transitions into a first-year high schooler. A promising talent with eyes for more than just the top of his sport, but also for a basketball-playing upperclassman. Every morning, a girl named Chinatsu Kano is the only person who always beats Taiki to the gym for practice, rivaling his passion for their respective sports. Despite being a year older than him, our protagonist decides that he'll continue to improve himself until he can win over the star player of the girls' basketball team and also prove his skill in badminton by winning in nationals. With his goal set, Taiki wakes up to find his world turned around as we then follow an endearing cast of characters while they attempt to navigate the complicated world of love alongside the competitive world of high school sports. I'll try to avoid getting into any spoilers as we go along, but if I do, I'll be sure to have a warning beforehand. That being said, I have to admit that I'm not usually one for reading many romance series, but I happened across Blue Box one day and gave it a try because I liked the artwork. By the time I had finished decimating the handful of chapters available at the time, I was already anticipating the next one. There was something about the way that interactions were handled through the tone and the artwork that added weight and humor to each conversation and practice match. For example, there's a genuine best friend casualness in the way that Taiki and Kyo speak and act towards each other that doesn't feel forced like some narratives do. We're not bogged down by an introductory monologue about meeting in elementary school or whatever. Just a title card, telling us his name and that he's the same age as Taiki. From there, it's up to us to pick up on little bits of information in the way that they act and react towards each other. The same goes for the rest of the lovable cast we get introduced to as the series takes off into a beautiful story filled with charm and well-executed development. It might be a hot take, but I enjoy stories with characters that feel like they're more than how often they scream their dreams to the world or being clever enough to deus ex machina a victory out of the clutches of defeat. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy the crap out of that sort of thing as well, but sometimes a manga like Blue Box is the palate cleanser that helps keep some of the more punch-first, develop-later manga feeling fresh. The art style is versatile and effective at evoking reactions from the reader with expressive faces and camera angles bringing out the best aspects of each situation without diluting itself into sheer silliness just for a laugh. There are also fewer plot lines that feel overly contrived, a criticism I've had of similar series in the past. It's not devoid of such drama, obviously, but it feels more deftly handled than the average will-they-won't-they-tune-in-next-week type of concept. And of course, a story about sports-crossed lovers wouldn't be much if it didn't heavily feature sports as a backdrop throughout the ongoing series. Plenty of time and attention is also given to the characters' passions and motivations to be the best team or player in their respective courts, having profound effects on the characters and their relationships as the story progresses. The actions of the sports sections aren't lacking either, feeling dynamic and energetic as players rush, slam, and shoot with everything they have. Through practice matches and tournaments, we get to feel the weight of their goals and the effort being put towards achieving them. Mura keeps things grounded by not including gimmicks or super moves like other series such as Kuroko's Basketball, which used basically superhuman abilities as a key part of its conflicts. Like I said earlier though, I have no problem with such things, but not every story needs them to be exciting or interesting. Finally, let's get into the announcement, released by Comic Natalie on November 20th, 2023. The key art is a stunningly rendered shot of Chinatsu waiting on the steps in front of the gym as the sun rises behind the school building in the background. In my opinion, it's a brilliant shot that evokes the atmosphere Taiki feels when he's around her. Alongside the promotional image, we're also given character designs for both Taiki and Shinatsu. The designs and faces shown in the images are lifted straight from the manga and maintain the art style that contributes so much charm to the settings and characters. According to the announcement, Shoya Chiba will be providing Taiki's voice, and Reina Ueda will be voicing Chinatsu. You may recognize Chiba from his role as Adult Will in The Faraway Paladin, and Yu in Fire Force. Chinatsu's actress, Ueda, has brought characters like Demon Slayer's Kanao Tsuyuri and Dr. Stone's Ruri to life. 
Unfortunately, we don't get a release window for the series, but it's pretty exciting just to hear that it's in the works. That's all the information we have so far, so if you're looking forward to seeing Blue Box's anime, let me know down below, and subscribe so you don't miss the next update. Stay warm, and watch out for stray basketballs when you enter the gym. Class dismissed.